Impact came back to, to British television on uh, on Friday. Um, for the, those that have kind of missed it in the gap, what's what's been happening with with Josh Matthews? Well, what's been happening with Josh Matthews is the fact that he finally gets to um, speak his mind and speak his truth and do things in a way that isn't so pro wrestling cookie cutter one on one the play by play guy has to like the good guys and has to defend the good guys and has to chastise and not like what the bad guys, the heels do. I can I can like who I want to like. I can like the protagonist, I can like the antagonist and it's just a different avenue in a different area and people like Jeremy Borash don't understand that and are, are bothered by it, but it, it that's not my problem. No, because you guys, there was like a because you obviously when when it's when it first started on Friday night, there was there was no Josh Matthews there, so you were kind of had had made a promise to to go away or had lost a match, from what I understand. No, 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 no. There was a Team JB versus Team Goat match. I am the goat, the greatest of all time, uh, and my team did come up a little bit short because I believe the referee Brian Hebner had a quick count. And that's what cost my team the match. That's under investigation. But in the meantime, I didn't, I don't, everyone keeps saying that I said that I would leave. And, and I did. I left. I, I went home. And then I came back. The show, yeah. the show started and, and I had some things to deal with right at the top of the hour. And I came back with the world champion Lashley. I was going to say, because when you came out with Lashley, I was like, oh, we've got a, we've got a, a new a, a new kind of associate for for Lashley. So what what is the allegiance there? Is is there is there something going on, or just coincidence that you came down at the same time? You know, Lashley's always been a friend of mine, and I consider him to be the greatest in ring performer right now in the world, regardless of what banner or flag he's competing under. He's simply that good, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity for my character, my guy, me, Josh Matthews, to return. Uh, along with Lashley, it was very symbolic. And you did try and help him win. Well, yeah, I tried to give him. I got a little uh, enthusiastic. I tried to give him a beer bottle. Uh, EC3 messed all that up, and uh, then fixed it. Did the right thing and smashed the beer bottle over the head of James Storm. So all's right in the world. And and Lashley retains his title. So of course all's right. And. You know, did you? Did he? Uh, is there any money exchanged hands for the uh, the helping hand? Oh, I can't talk about that. We got That's a that's a closed door conversation. Um, obviously, at the at the tail end of the of the show, um, JB Jerry Borash took a took a swing and, and connected. Uh, how is the jaw? My jaw's fine. Uh, it hurt a lot more when Karen Jarrett slapped me than when JB punched me. But you know, my whole stance is that I need to stop workplace violence. And again, I'm the victim of workplace violence, and my attorneys and my lawyers have advised me not to discuss what's going on, um, but there are some things transpiring, and um, if all goes well on Thursday night, the world may never have to see or hear Jeremy Borash again. I say, because it didn't, you know, I'll be honest, you, you didn't gesture towards him, it was, you know, it was very one-sided, I don't think you kind of didn't antagonize him that much, he's obviously just a lot of... Uh, Pent up uh, anger. From yeah, but you can't just hit somebody. I mean, no. it's 2017. You can't hit anybody. So no. he he did that, and it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be a bad day for Jeremy Borash. Let's just say that. So, uh, but obviously, it's all it's all being done down the legal avenues. You won't be uh, you won't be putting your wrestling training to to any use at all. No, my wrestling training will stay uh, exactly where it is, and that's locked up in the vaults. And I will let my legal team handle. Mr. Borash. Um, I mean, this this Josh Matthews that, that we're seeing is is that more to the real Josh Matthews? Have you kind of had to like I mean, like you said, it, you, you can cheer for who you want to and and kind of boo who you want to. So is is do you feel freer now? Like are we are we seeing that the Josh Matthews who feels free to do what he wants on Impact? Yeah, I mean uh, the old adage of wrestlers saying that it, you know it's just me turned up, and and that's kind of it's kind of true. Um, there were moments throughout my career where I had to, you know, side on a guy's, um, you know, cheer on a guy who I really didn't like or really didn't believe in. Or maybe he was a good guy on TV but not a good guy behind the scenes. And, and you know, to me, it's it, it, in where we are right now and with social media and everything like that, like, you get to know who these people are 
Um, and honestly, I, I called myself the greatest announcer of all time on a digital show that just happened to go viral and people saw it and some agreed, some disagreed, but it made for a conversation. But again, at the end of the day, that's how I feel about myself and my performance. And no one is going to change that. On my, no one's going to change my opinion on myself. Yeah, um, I mean, you've been you've been essentially carrying impact for the last. How long have you been with those kind of guys? Two, three, four oh, years. Oh, thank now? you. Yes, yeah, I've been carrying it for three years. Because you had obviously, because at one point were you on your own for a little while before the Pope came in? Yes, for about office? four weeks, uh, I called the show by myself, um, and I wanted to do it. To be quite honest with you, um, I wanted to try it and see how it would work out. It was difficult, uh, but I thought it was good, good enough to where we could have kept going. Um, but you know, the decision was made to bring in Pope, and I like Pope. I think he's grown uh, a lot over the past year and a half that he's been out there with me. Um, but again, it was just, uh, you're right, caring. I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing is carrying the show. Yeah. Did you have any hand in the hiring of Pope? Because do you guys go back from, because you obviously back in the day commentated for a, for another company who Pope was on. So do you guys go way back? Did you have anything to do with him being hired? Um, no, I didn't. Uh, he was suggested and he came in for an audition, same as same as anyone would, and, and we thought he did a good enough job to uh, to be on the air. Yeah, because I mean, because if I recall, like it was a bit of a, a strange commentator setup. Because when you came in, was that when you were kind of not doing it live during the recordings, or was that? Yeah, we did a show live, and then we wanted to. I, and I still think this was a good idea. I, it wasn't a bad idea. We wanted to peel back the curtain and show everyone that, look, we tape in bulk, and mm -hmm. our guys commentate the show from a studio in Nashville. And they showed us in, the, in a separate little box there, and we were, uh, Taz and myself, we were in a different world, so to speak, and we called the show from there. And I think it was universally dismissed because it was so different. People were like, well, it, it sounds better when they're in the arena. And, you know, what people don't know is that for years and years and years, you've been watching wrestling that has had commentary done in the studio. Yeah. I believe they still do it um, on shows to this day, but for whatever reason, and I think it's it was the cool thing to hate Impact Wrestling, um, you know, people just didn't like it because they didn't want to like what we were doing. Well, that's, see, that's been a really weird thing for me over the last kind of last year because obviously you know there has been documented kind of you know ownership changes and stuff within impact and i think that's one of the things that really did my head in is because i like i've met a couple of the like i've met grado i've met Gat drew galloway um you know people like that spud and there was obviously knowing those guys and kind of you know some of them i'm quite pally with if i ever see uh, wrestling shows in the uk I'll, you know I'll, i will talk to them but seeing kind of people hating on impact when there was those kind of that negativity going around it, it was really frustrating because at the end of the day you know fair if you don't like impact don't watch it but don't hate on a company and wish a company to go under because at the end of the day those are people's jobs do you know what I mean? Like that was yeah, really and I, yeah, I've always thought that, and I've always maintained that. It's like, if you don't like something, don't watch it. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm, I, I do Facebook Lives every week for Impact Wrestling, and I get so many people saying, like, this is boring, and I don't want to watch this. Well, I'm not forcing you. I'm not in your house putting you in front of Facebook Live to watch this. Like, you're watching it. You're, it's your decision. Um, people on Twitter that tell me how much they despise me, well, well you follow me. Yeah. You know, so you have to make that decision for yourself. So it's weird. People, um, they say that they hate it. They say they don't, they don't want to um, to engage, but they may be the ones who are watching closer than anybody. Yeah, I mean, do you, does it feel obviously not knowing how the, the locker room was now that kind of Anthem are on board, and does it feel like there is that a bit of stability now, and people can kind of concentrate on on making Impact great again? I never had any instability here, yeah. and instability to me is that you don't get paid. Fair enough. And for three years that I've been here, I've never not gotten paid. And I don't know why people um, think that that happens to, mm. to us. I mean, I'm, I'm not a, a, a mark. I wouldn't just show up to a job for free. No. So it, it, it makes me laugh. Um, you know, I understand that some things have happened over the years. So I'm not I'm just making this up where, you know, fans started saying you guys didn't get paid. Um, there were some instances where payments were made late. But uh, that happened. But everyone, you know, has been caught up and and when you look at it like that it's like where's the instability the fact yeah. that you know we danced around a couple networks for a while was okay but i don't know if um it was ever as dire as anyone really thought it was yeah. and now and to answer your question about anthem with these guys here it's like 
you know, you build a house and, and buy real estate, you, you we're good. This, yeah. this anthem, working with with and for anthem is, is phenomenal. Yeah, it, it feels like like I watched. I say I watched. I was watching the show before it went off of the UK air. I was I was a bit disappointed that that Challenge had rescinded their you know their deal, which which is their deal. If they want to do that, they want to do it. But I'm, I'm glad to see it back on on the UK shows, and and hopefully as well we'll we'll see kind of impact shows back in back in the UK. Because I mean, like I've been to a couple of those kind of house you know tapings in in the UK, and they're always packed. Like you always draw a crowd in the UK. Yeah, no, we do. We do really well. The one time that I went over last year, I had an amazing time. Excuse me, huh? I just got back from a long four days of taping. Um, it's uh, it's it's great to be over there, and I, I certainly can't wait to go back. Do, do you know if there are is there tour, is there anything in the pipeline to to come back, or do you not guys not know yet? Yeah, I mean, there's the partnerships with uh, oh, WOS Wrestling, and, and there's all sorts of things that are happening. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know if if you'll see a full. Uh, I don't want to speak out of school. I'm not 100 percent sure as to what the plan is, so I don't want to say anything that might not come true. No, I've just I've completely forgot about World of Sport that uh, there was the, the relationship with World of Sports. I know La- yes. your, your friend Lashley has been an, announced for that, and I think that is yes, that and Congo Congo Kong yesterday was he? Oh, see, that is that's going to yes. be an in, that's going to be interesting because you would hope, you know, fingers crossed that that will bring with it being on ITV, you would hope that that will bring a lot of a lot of more a lot more eyes to to kind of impact on spike and and stuff like that with it being yeah. a, a kind of free to air challenge so a free to air free to air tv channel so that could be a, an exciting thing for for you guys really and and the guys that are wrestling on those shows um I mean, how do you feel? Are you guys happy to? I obviously, assume you guys are really happy to be back on on UK TV as well, and something that's probably been talked Spike about. Spike TV UK has been great thus far from a broadcast partner and from just a television network itself. Um, they've been phenomenal to work with, and I know that the, the fans. I know that as they just watch the show on Fridays at 9 p.m. Uh, British Standard Time, that they just you know that they're happy that we're back. You know, there's only uh, it's like a less than 24-hour window from the airing of the show mm. in America, so you can avoid spoilers where you can, and you can enjoy, you know, the show on TV. Uh, it's phenomenal. I think we did a good job with the app, the Over the Top app, in bridging the gap while we were waiting. But I think this being on Spike TV UK is nothing but amazing. Yeah, because I remember I was just like at that time when you came in. I think was was where you were getting like a a two week delay or something like that from it airing in America to airing in in the UK so it is nice that you get yeah. it literally the day after which is is brilliant cuz i know there's some people out there that will kind of you know and like you say you book you do record in bulk you know but some people will go out and find out whereas me i i don't care i, I want to see it the day it comes out and i'm not bothered I'm not going to go and read all the the papers and stuff like that as to to what's happening and and kind of who's who's doing what because it just spoils it. I don't I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm with you on that one for sure. Because it's like the same with you know other companies. It's just like why? Oh, fair enough if you're at the TV tapings. You know that's that's a different thing. But just why seek out something that you're then not going to see for another three months and. Kind of, where are you taped up to now? Do you know? Have you are you taped up all the way to to Slammiversary, or is there there another block to go? No, there's another taping uh, that'll actually take place in India, and that'll get us to Slammiversary. Oh, India! So that sounds yeah. interesting. So, will you be going out to India, or is that a recording? Yes, yes, I, I I will be uh, I will be going to the United Kingdom. I mean, I'm sorry, I'll be going to India. India. That, that must be interesting. Have you yeah. been? Have you Because I know yeah. you obviously had the relationship with with, with India for a, a couple of years, haven't they? But is that the, will it be the first time you've been out with with Impact to India? Or yeah, yeah, it was my first trip over. Um, a few of our executives have been over. Um, and I'm I'm excited to go. Yeah, I mean something I've picked up that possibly not many people know, but in my email correspondence with with obviously the Impact guys, that they they said that you're quite. You do quite a lot backstage. I mean, what what is your kind of backstage role these days with with Impact? Or I don't think we have enough time left for the interview for me to tell you everything. Um, <laughs> I, it's just I get to have my hand in everything. Um, I get to help with uh, Shop Impact and, and ImpactWrestling.com dot com and um, all of our socials, and um, it's it's a great uh, opportunity to be here in Nashville and to be active every day and to help the the growth and success of the company. Cool. 
Okay. Um, I say I think I've well, I've got everything. Um, good luck okay. with the next couple of weeks, and you know we'll see what happens on it on impact, and uh, you know what happens happens. I suppose.